jumps in a week I bet you think that's pretty clever Don't you boy Flying on your motorcycle Watching all the ground beneath you drop You'd kill yourself for recognition Kill yourself and never ever stop You broke another mirror You're turning into something you are not Don't leave me Drying up in conversation You will be the one who cannot talk All your insides fall to pieces You just sit there wishing you could still make a love They're not the ones that hate you And you think you've got the world all sussed out They're the ones who spit at you You will be the one screaming out Don't leave me Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Radiohead's High and Dry. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So this is actually a fairly straightforward track, guys, and it's pretty good fun to play. So at the beginning, we're going to start off, and what we're going to do, we're going to play like this octave. Now, you, really, you need to be a little bit competent with your down-up strokes, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to sound quite right. So what I'm doing, I put my first finger in the 11th fret on the A string, and I'm skipping over the D string, and I'm putting my third finger on the 13th fret on the D. And you kind of get this... You end up muting the D string with your first finger. And then the other strings can ring out. I mean, you can mute the bottom E as well with the second finger if you wanted. It's no big deal if you hit it though, okay? So what we're going to do... We're going to slide that shape, it's like a power chord shape, okay? Down then to the ninth fret, which is the next dot, okay? So I'm going up, down, up, down, slide, up, down. Up, down, up, down, slide, down, down. Let's do it again really slowly. Up, down, up, down, up, slide, down. And then we move this 
back where we started. We play exactly the same strumming, but now we slide to the seventh fret, okay, using the same shape. So my fingers don't come off the strings, they slide on the strings, okay. You want to take the pressure off a bit to help you move. So if I do it super slow. Let's do that even slower, so. do I move my third finger over onto that D string and put my pinky on the G where my third finger was hit the bottom E and play all the strings and that's an E right there okay so this is kind of A flat that's F sharp to E and then an E5 so with a bit of speed. So you notice as well, I fill in the gaps in between. So. it down for you. So there's your little intro. Now then we go down to like this F sharp minor 11 so we're not actually including this root in here so all it is is the first finger on the second fret on the G string third finger on the fourth fret on the A string and put your pinky at the fourth fret on the D string underneath that third finger and then from the A string make sure you got all those strings ringing out okay So that's the F sharp minor shape, and then that moves around to an A sus2, an A suspended 2. It's like a normal A, but remove the third finger, okay? From the A string again, make sure all those strings are ringing out. And then it goes to an E major. And then what we do, we put a suspended fourth on, that's putting the pinky on the G string and then back to an E. I'll show you the rhythm in a second. So first of all the chords. And... So there's our first verse now. So again, you don't have to get the strum in perfect. It's very much an interpretation and it's whatever works with your singing, okay? Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, 
up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So it's just roughly what works, okay? Now it just runs through these chords throughout the verse. Then we're into the chorus, which is exactly the same chords. Don't leave me high. So the F minor. So the A sus2. Don't leave me dry. To E. And you just hold on the E. And that goes four times. Now, in between the first verse and the second verse, there's that little. And then instead of doing the E5 here, you could actually do it there. And then you're ready for the second verse. Try enough in conversation. You will be the one who can up talk on off. Okay, now you know if you wanted to change it up a bit. What you could do, there's a little interlude bit after the second chorus. It just starts playing a bit harder on the E. Now I didn't do it because you know I quite like the the normal verse chords, but if you wanted to heavy it up a little bit just to change it up. E it's kind of finish up finishes off right so I'll give you an example Don't leave me dry And then F sharp 5 just a power chord A power chord E You could do that again got the bridge that comes in right so and then it's just the best thing that you ever had the best thing that you ever had so I'm just letting them ring out right and and then you can just finish it with a chorus Good song. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to receive these lessons every single week. I've got some links below to a Spotify playlist. There's some t-shirts for sale. You can find links to Instagram. And also, I don't get paid for these lessons, guys. So if you really wanted to support me, I would super appreciate it. I've set up a donation button via my website and I'd super super appreciate it if you could help support me it just helps me a bit you know and uh, I'll see you again the same time next week